Yo, yo, we are back in our FFX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this AI explosion effect right here. This effect looks super, super insane. And I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So in my timeline to start off, I have this clip from Yeet New Music Video. So I'm gonna use this footage right here. But firstly, to start off, all you gotta do is go over to the end frame of your footage where you wanna add the explosion on. For me, it's the end frame. So I'm gonna just go right here. Keep it all hit Control, Alt, S to save this as a still frame you can look at it where you want to export and i will name it like image ai no effect right here and it will bring up the render queue go which is his output model in photoshop sequence just set it to jpeg sequence right here and then hit ok and then he just hit render and now if i go into my file explorer and pull up that image right here wait hold on so right here, if I show you, you can see there's an image right here, exported as a still frame. Now after this, open up your browser right here. So let's just bring up our browser right here. Let me full screen this. And in your browser, just search up cling.ai thing ai right here and just go into this thing.ai.com we'll be using this ai to like create those explosion and say and now just hit create and it will bring up into this app right here so after you are in here just log in then what we gonna do is go into the video section right here and where is this image to video right here for me the background looks kind of like different because I already generated some videos from here but for you if you are doing it for the first time it should be clean but now I'm gonna bring up my file explorer right here and remember the image that we exported drag and drop it into this image to video tab right here and now in prompt just add a simple prompt called add a explosion in the background so something like this so something like this nothing too complicated on the prompt just explaining what we want actually this effect you can add like different volcanic eruption basic anything like it's your imagination just add it in the prompt and make sure to do this for free make sure you are in version cling 1.6 just select that and then after that just hit generate right here now just wait till it's done it's magic so yeah now after you wait for a while you can see we have insane result right here that explosion looks actually insane bro the first one i did turn out something like this if i play it through you can see it turned out something like this but the second one is way more better like wow bro now after this you can just download this for free right here and here i'm gonna just save it called ai explosion right here save it right there and then go to downloads open it up in the file explorer so if i show you in this file explorer right here right beside our image now go back into after effects open up your file explorer as well drag and drop it onto your project now just drag this into your comp then you can just bring up the size right here oh nah 200 is too much maybe like 150 then you can see we have the explosion but the starting part is little like not that smooth so i'm gonna go around like something around like here and just trim it till here don't worry about this cut right here we can add something like a shake to like blend it in but now it's like too slow for me so for about to fix that all you can do is go to time stretch and just set it to something like 30 maybe in here like 30 so the explosion happens like real quick right there damn bro yeah something like there maybe a little more faster maybe like 25 yeah that looks super super hard then now after this you can pre-comp it as well just pre-comp this to time ramp this you can add something like a twixter pro if you have if you don't have you can use a effect called what is called like time warp time warp right here it's the same thing basically just play with the speed in twixter i'ma set the value at the speed i'ma set it to 200 at first go a bit further and just set it to something like 25 or something like there so it goes like exploding right there yeah that looks hard bro now after the twixter you can see it looks way more cooler maybe something like this yeah that looks insane now you can see this watermark right here which looks pretty ugly so to remove this just pre-comp this this pre-comp as well again and go over to your marks tool and just marks out this cling.ai like this like this watermark right here and bring up the marks invert the marks right here and then we're just gonna go to content aware fill 
you can you can have your setting something like this lower down the max expansion to zero and just hit generate fill right here now again let it do its thing right here then after it's done it will add a new like png sequence into a clip you can just trim it where it starts then we have our watermark also gone right there so now you can leave it right here but to finalize this i'm gonna add an adjustment layer real quick and from my effects and preset in my animation preset in user preset i'm gonna use my shake pack right here shake pack right here open up sd and i'm gonna just add the best one in here line it up and just stream it at the start that easily you have this like insane seek right there that adds a lot of impact to our video so if you want to download this seek pack right here i'll link it in the description it's completely dope comes with a lot of seeks that you can use in your music video so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description but we are almost done right here to spice it up you can add another adjustment layer put it before like the seek adjustment layer and i'm gonna add a curves and in curves you can just like play around with all of these values to get like to give it a little like unique of a color grade right there yeah i guess that looks super hard then finally to spice it up i'm gonna add a glass breaking overlay right here that i downloaded off from youtube and in blending mode just set it to screen and put it before our seek and the color grade so it goes like there maybe you can set the blending mode to linear doors something right there looks super insane and with that i think we are done so finally our result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you learned something new please consider hitting the subscribe button because i keep dropping like this saw on my channel a lot so just hit the subscribe button to lock in and you can also follow me on instagram do all that good stuff but i'm gonna see you on the next one peace